there, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 5 of the Nova Scotia Kitchens Podcast, Marissa's Chamomile Water Kefir. I'm Sherry Graham, and on today's show, you get to visit in Marissa's beautiful farmhouse kitchen with me. I've known Marissa in one way or another online since 2009, and we finally met in person on a gorgeous June afternoon at her farmhouse just outside of Annapolis Royal. My husband and I took our boys and made a bit of a family day trip out of it, and we started out at the Annapolis Royal Farmer's Market, and it was so lovely. It really is a great place to spend a summer day. Marissa's kitchen is so bright and lovely, I couldn't help but take many, many many pictures, so you should definitely visit the website to take a look. She has a beautiful way of arranging her home. Her backsplash in her kitchen is particularly great, and her sink area is just absolutely gorgeous. And I typically don't tell you that you can stay at the homes I visit, but this time you can. Marissa runs an Airbnb farm stay at their farm, and she offers workshops via Experience Annapolis as well. And you can follow her on Instagram to see more pictures from her lovely home and the rental suite. Links to everything we talk about are over on the website, so be sure to check it out. I get really excited in the audio today and jump way ahead of myself when we start talking about the water kefir, so just hang on and we'll get back around to the beginning if you have no idea what we're talking about. I've also posted links to much more detailed information on keeping your own water kefir grains going. Those are all over at NovaScotiaKitchens.com. Marissa's daughters kept us company during the visit, so things get a bit silly at some points. Their giggles are just delightful. So the visit starts with a rooster crowing and the making of tea, as all the best visits do. Do you want some tea? Our tea would be lovely. All right. Do you want to get a couple uh, teacups for me, Cecily? Do you guys want tea? Yes, please. Yes. I thought so. Hey, pop me out! <laughs> Okay, but let's not wrestle the teacups to break them. Just remember, we're being recorded, so any. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I was gonna like, can I invite myself over and make something for me? Does somebody want to go harvest some chamomile for me? Well, I don't know what the chamomile is. There's some. Two. No, my. I didn't realize that that bush over there had flower on it. The peony, that's really pretty. Just wait, um, like a good sized handful. Okay? What size handful? Alright, tell me what we're doing. <laughs> well, she's picking chamomile for it. So, I guess I'm supposed to like. Just <laughs> pretend it's an Instagram story. <laughs> it's just the audio. And I'll right. just keep taking a few pictures of it. So have you made a water keeper before? Yes. Okay. We so used you know to when we were in town, on town mm-hmm. water, it was perfect. And we moved to our house and the well water was not drinkable. So we had to put in a whole water system. Yeah. Killed it. Cannot keep it alive with our water. So oh. it goes through the UV light and the salt system. Oh, and it's like the whole yeah. thing. So it whatever whatever the water kefir needs, it takes it away. So we tried a few times. We we're like, okay, hey, if we get some water from our friends in town, and then bring it. In. Anyway, it was just so. What anyway. if you? Some people do is they put um, eggshells. Oh, I did not. Or um, if you're grossed out by eggshell, you could just put sea salt <laughs> in it. Because it needs the minerals. The minerals. I even bought mineral, like, and that specific mineral work. drops with that in. That didn't work. I tried molasses, because the minerals yeah. in molasses work. That didn't work. I tried. There's something else. Maybe it was salt, too. Yeah. Nothing. I was very disappointed. And so Adam knows, is it Jocelyn, who does at the Wolfville Farmer's Market? Farm I have actually life. never been. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because she sells it there. So he had talked to her, and then I was like, okay. So we can we get some grains from you guys? And we had ordered new grains, and we just gave up on it. Huh. I hate admitting that I gave up on something. <laughs> <laughs> but it got me. Anyway, so I am 
eggshells though. I did not try. So yeah, well that's well, I've never Maybe. I've never had to. But um, and are you on a well? Yeah, a we well? had our well water tested. Yeah. and it's it's all healthy and yeah, fine. Yeah, so yeah. I've but it's not like idea. a town. No system or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think? Why the town water? Why would the town water be fine? Well, in Yarmouth, the town water is just from Lake George. It's just oh. a lake water that's brought oh, in, so it's okay. not like in a any kind of So it's of not been whatever. No, okay. It's just it's not like, treated. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's cleaned or whatever they have to do yeah. to make it drinkable, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, other than the. Yeah, I know. Shell. I know. I, know. I, I feel like I yet. really tried all the things because Adam found that it helped. Did you try putting raisins stuff. in it? No. So that's the other thing. I don't know. Too bad. So my sad story, I just started making this like a year ago. Yeah. So I got my grains, got them all hydrated, got them going, had a friend come. She was helping me wash my dishes, which was great. Actually, I wasn't home, so she was washing oh, my dishes. Yes. And I have a bad habit of just leaving yeah. my stuff all over the... Yeah wherever and Dan's thrown away so many things <laughs> so he works in progress <laughs> so then she was washing the dishes and then she said so I just washed these jars and there was something kind of in the one jar I'm not really sure what it was <laughs> and it's like as she's draining the sink and she looked at me and I kind of gasped and it was my key for brain oh, no, <laughs> no. So, anyways, this is my <laughs> second round, but they're doing pretty good. Um, so, where did you... Okay, let's back it up just for a okay. second, because I'm thinking some people are going to be like, wait a minute, what are they talking about? And I got really excited, but I didn't explain <laughs> anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe you can explain a little bit about what it is and kind of okay, how so it works and where you got your grains and that sort of thing. I don't remember where I got my grains. <laughs> But I'll send you a link. <laughs> Perfect. I there's that. Yeah, there's several it's places. From somewhere in Ontario. Yes. So it's, I think that's where I got my But I'm too. sure you can get them maybe somewhere in Nova Scotia. So how much How much do you want me to explain? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> think of, think of um, an aunt of yours who is listening somewhere okay. who is vaguely interested in things but not okay. like to the degree that maybe you and I are. <laughs> so we we can start by saying that we probably say it differently because you say kefir and I say kefir but they're the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Or kefir. Or kefir. There's three. I think they're all three correct. So, anyways, I'm just going to stick with Kiefer, if that's okay, because that's what I need. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. So, they're just, they're called a grain, but they're not actually. They're a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Same as, like, kombucha, yeah. but just different bacteria. So, apparently there's, like, ten, at least ten types of bacteria in here yeah. and yeast. Four types of yeast. <laughs> so essentially, they kind of culture the water. Yeah, and the the sugar feeds them. Yeah, and then it turns into lactic acid. I think it is. Sure. Which yeah. turns into something really healthy for your guts, right, girls? <laughs> yeah. Used to Good be, for healthy guts. She used to say, "Help to get like hundred times a day, twenty times." It's times so times. important. It's really important. So, we always do, like, the milk keeper. I don't know if you, do you guys do that? We had no problem with keeping that going. Yeah. But nobody really cared for it in right. my house. And then we had a lot of it. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. But so, we also don't have a cow. We don't have any milk source. We're, the girls yeah. are not huge fans yeah. of milk keeper. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah we so, it that. technically actually has more... Um, bacteria, health, mm -hmm. beneficial bacteria, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you don't care for it, or um, if you can't do dairy, right? If you can't do yeah. dairy, and this is nice because it's actually like a pleasant summer drink. It really is, and it's slightly effervescent. So if you want some carbonation, it's nice. The one thing that I find challenging with it is you have to switch it over so fast. Yeah, like How which can be great. Take, do you do a day or two days? A day or two. So this bottle that we can try out, I left too so, long, so it's yeah. a little bit like more, the... a little bit at more acidy than you might like. But what's acidy mean? 
Uh, the quinoa has almost has that vinegar flavor. Oh, uh, just like your um kombucha. Her yeah, kombucha? it can, whoo, it can it get really strong. It tastes <laughs> like vinegar sometimes. Sometimes, or other times it's delicious. Ah. Yeah, especially with okay. strawberries. So this one lemon. is actually chamomile and lemon balm. Nice. So I didn't actually add any uh, fruit juice to this one, but sometimes for the second ferment, I add some juice. So I thought we could go through the process. Yeah, if you wanted to. that would be perfect. Oh, I love it. Okay. So if you could go get me some sugar, that would be fantastic. I oh, thank you. Okay. Great. <laughs> All right, so first I'm going to strain off yesterday's. So this is only probably, this hasn't even fermented for quite 24 hours, but okay. real cheap. Because you can see, like, it's got some yeah. carbonation. Because often you'll see the... It's got some life happening in there. And I use <laughs> I use raw cane sugar, so that's why you get kind of like the... The yellowish. The yellowish. Of yellowish discoloration, but it's perfectly healthy. And you can use a stainless steel strainer, but this, I just have this because I use it for my kombucha. Yeah. So I just use the plastic mesh one. So mm -hmm. when I started out, I, see what it looks like, I think I, I had see? just what? short of two tablespoons. So yeah, it's, it's, multiplied. it's multiplied to a quarter of a cup. So four tablespoons. Did you get me the sugar? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you're not getting it quick enough. Um, <laughs> okay. So you strain out the grains, and then they're going back. In the yes, jar. they're going back in the jar, and I don't rinse them out. Some people do. I did not. I don't think you're supposed to, because I think just take you want to keep the beneficial bacteria in there. So then I find my measuring cup. Actually, I'll be honest and say I don't actually really fully measure anything, but after you've been doing this for a while, kind of like okay. this. We'll, we'll measure for this. So then, two because I have a quarter of a cup of grains, yeah. so I use a quarter of a cup of sugar. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, not for the volume of water, but to keep the. But then to, you would keep it. Yeah, and then so you can for this I do six to eight cups of water for the okay. quarter cup. I think the biggest... <laughs> <laughs> I can edit that out. Or I can leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> like reality. <laughs> so what I do is I just add some boiling water to dissolve the sugar. Yeah. But you don't want to pour that right onto the grains because that will... Do Kill that. the grains because it's too hot. Do you want to stir this? I want to stir. Mm. So then I add the hot water to some cold water. I could probably do this more efficiently, but. And these jars actually have the new Ooh, measurements yes. on them. I don't have any quite that large. It has a liter and a half. Are those those only two liters? Are they? Uh, yeah, I think that's actually a two liter one. Yeah. So now this is ready to do its ferment for thirty six hours. Is about what I do. Yep. Um, and so that's because then it eats up more of the sugar. Yes. The longer, but you don't want to let it go too long, or it gets vinegary and. Yeah. It's hard on the grains. Yeah. Yeah. And I often forget, and mine goes too long. Yeah. Let's have a taste. They're pretty forgiving. Can we try uh, this now? We will. Um, actually, if you want to get the pretty glasses, okay. you can do that. You can try it. I'm going to do the, this one is going to be a strawberry chamomile. Oh. Uh -huh. Strawberry nice. chamomile. So we won't get to try that one today, but. So the one that you just put over to sit, you have cheesecloth yeah, at the top and an elastic because it needs to breathe. Yeah. And it's just at room temperature. And it just stays at room temperature. It move, works faster if it's warmer. So over the yeah. summer, sometimes it's only like 24 hours instead of 36. Yeah. Sometimes in the winter, it's more like 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> because our 
The kitchen is quite cold. Well, you put it in the living room. Like well, my and yeah. sometimes people say that they have problems with, like how I have all my fermented stuff kind of sitting Together. in that corner. They say that you have to keep them separate. Mm -hmm. I personally haven't had an issue. Yep. So it just all gets. So I'm not really measuring the chamomile. I'm going to try. This one's going to be a strawberry juice. <laughs> And keep your mouth straight. Okay. So then to get a bit more of the flavor of the chamomile, I'm using boiling water. It doesn't look so pretty. Like those ones I use yeah. boiling water. If you put them in fresh, you know, it keeps Yeah, yeah. It's more like picturesque, oh. but you don't actually get the full the flavor. flavor of them. What's so I'm just using one? a little bit of... Where was I? So then I just kind of let this cool a little bit and steep. Mm -hmm. And then for this one, which was the lemon balm and chamomile, because there was no fruit juice in it, mm -hmm. I added a teaspoon or a tablespoon of sugar. Okay. Just so that it would have something to actually ferment. And it's not... Yeah. Again, it's only been like 24 hours, so it's not going to be super effervescent yeah. yet. So if we left it for another day, then it would be really fizzy. Yeah. Or if we left it for three or four days, it would fizz up over the bottle, which the girls think is really <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> so then for six cups of kefir, then I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of fruit juice, so the strawberry fruit juice. And is that strawberry fruit juice that you made? Yeah, it's, it's not very fancy, it's just um, <laughs> it's thawing the frozen strawberries, yeah. and then this is what, and that's your juice, what I drain those. off, yeah. Perfect, I love it. So it works pretty well. So again, I don't like super measure, but you know, when it comes to strawberries, more is better. Always. And sometimes, even with fruit juice, sometimes people suggest adding a tablespoon of sugar, but okay, depends how sweet you want it. Yeah. I don't want it to be too sweet, but I do want the girls to drink it. Yeah. So I have to make <laughs> Fine it. Fine line. <laughs> so I have to make it sweet enough that they will actually go for that. And then my really fancy bottles are just the. <laughs> I recognize them. <laughs> You know, you can buy them at the, the superstore, the super store, yeah. whatever those drinks are called. But they seal really well, so That's I actually perfect. went and bought like a dozen of those beverages <laughs> from time to time. And I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's got the black label and it's President's Choice. Yeah. And it's pop. Yeah. But they make it look fancy. Yeah. And they have great It is a lot less sugar. And yeah, I got a bunch for half price last week. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. if you yeah, look yeah. for it when it's half price and there's like a rose lemonade or something like yes. that. Yes, yep. Yeah, and yeah. they actually kind of taste good, so they do. it's not, you don't mind doing it. Okay, my funnel isn't big enough for the chamomile <laughs> to go in, but I'm actually going to put the chamomile right in. Okay. And I don't like to put any fruit or herbs or anything into in with my grains because some people do that oh but it yeah. can weaken the grains and I don't have enough right to risk it so and this is the perfect way to get the yeah. flavor anyway so I'm just gonna pour really carefully and I should do this over the sink <laughs> that would be smart so I'm gonna go to the sink <laughs> Smar. Smar. Sorry, if you have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. It usually ends up being like an hour and a half yeah. of um, the full audio, and then you could just make us sound like we're really like. Oh, I will. Um, put together. <laughs> Sometimes on Instagram, you know, people only see your perfect life. Yeah. And I try to, like, not have a perfect life, yeah. but people still only see what they want to see. So it's so true. I'm like, yeah. just, just come to my house and, you know, 
You'll see what you'll see what it's like. What shenanigans we get up to. <laughs> okay, so this is actually gonna be too much for one bottle. So then I'm just gonna do a strawberry one too. And you wanna leave some headspace in the bottle. I think maybe in case so that it has room to expand. Is that you mean? Uh, well, I think it's to stop it from, because there's pressure in there. The gas, which is what makes it fizzy, causes pressure. So if it's too full, it could potentially make the lid pop off or it could potentially break the bottle. So you leave some space. So yeah, if you want it to be stronger fruit flavored, you can put more fruit juice in or less. When we had ours going in town, we would buy some blueberry juice. Often. Yeah. And the boys loved that when they were little. We put just a little bit. It was super concentrated. Yeah. And just grocery store, but they were Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. And that was really good. And I I do that sometimes too. The girls aren't fans of blueberry, but another one I tried was blueberry mint. Ooh, nice. Which is kind of nice, except that was the only one we liked it in the family, <laughs> but I mean... So pretty. I love those camel flowers in it. Yeah. And it's not, it's still kind of a subtle flavor. Mm -hmm. Like almost a little bit apple-y. Yeah. Um, or That's a good comparison. If the, if the elderflowers were in bloom, mm -hmm. I like to do an elder, a lemon elderflower one. Oh, nice. Which is nice. Or elderflower champagne. Or elderflower mm -hmm. champagne. Or elderflower yeah. cordial. <laughs> Yeah, so many options. Or syrup. Nice. Or we tried a pear ginger one. Again, I think I was the only one who liked it. I usually try to remember to like crack the lid. Yes. Um, once a day, if I remember. Yeah. I've never had one explode on me, so I don't know how. These are already carbonated bottles. Like yeah. the bottles they should be for carbonation. Yeah. But you have to be careful of your bottles. Yes. Like that they are for carbonation. Yeah. Or alcohol. Can I crack this yeah. one? The roll, the little the green roll. Yeah. Can I crack this one? Yes, you can. Can I have an ice cream? I've uh, found these at Value Mode, which too. I've yeah. seen them a few times there. Yeah. Um, um, that's another place people make. Actually, so I did buy quite a few, but then well, we went to the recycling oh. depot. Oh. And he sold them to us for not very expensive, oh. like, cents. Like, kind of like... Yeah. A, so, yeah. I mean, you have to scrub them. Yeah, yeah. But, and oh, that's a good idea, too. That was one thing I had a hard time finding was a proper bottle brush. Yes. For them. I've tried baby brushes, which aren't long enough. And they're the not baby long enough. baby brushes, because they're just... Yeah. So, What's finally... Find? So, someone told me... To go to like a beer and wine store. Yes. But oh yeah, that's um, perfect. I actually just ordered this off of Amazon, and it's long enough. It's still like you really want to make sure you clean it out right away so that this yeah stuff doesn't sit on yeah, the yeah. bottom. But it goes down in, and yeah, you can it actually does do actually it. work pretty well. Can I have those two cups, please? So. Okay. And you, you actually can use dried herbs. I'm just using fresh today. Um, the thing about the lavender because it's so floral and it can yeah. be a bit much. And you would if you did a lavender simple syrup. Oh, that's true. And then true. put a little yeah. bit of that in with the camel and then yeah. you have the flavor. Yeah. And you wouldn't need the fresh. Yeah. And the flavor would be all through. Oh, that's a nice combination. I love lavender. It's really cool. So good. The girls are if you're if you're trying to sell it to kids, definitely the fruit juice. Yeah. That will make the make the difference the way to go. And a shorter ferment. I also, I also find that when it's way more sparkling then they like it better. Yeah. Like you're it, almost it. It always has that little bit of a sharp flavor yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. And it's not sparkling, but I find it kind of pleasant. So. All right. You won't be forced to drink the whole glass. That's lovely. No, I like it. I think it's kind of nice. And it's very apple-y. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
On a hot day, I think yeah. it's very refreshing. If I did a shorter first ferment, yep, and then a little bit longer second yep. ferment, it would have more fizz and yep. less fizz. I like that it's endlessly customizable yes. too, <laughs> depending exactly. on what you like. Because some people might really like the sour yeah. kind of yeah. punch to it. But yeah. Like and you have a beautiful wine. porch for sitting out on. Exactly. <laughs> a cold drink on a porch. Perfect. Thanks so much to Marissa for welcoming me into her beautiful kitchen. A printable recipe for the water kefir, as well as links to other things we mentioned and photos from our visit are up at NovaScotiaKitchens.com. A big welcome to those of you who are new listeners. I am so glad that you're here. When you visit NovaScotiaKitchens.com at the bottom of any page, you can subscribe to receive new post notifications by email, so you'll get to see pictures from the visits and it will all magically appear right in your inbox. You can find Marissa on Instagram as marissa.froze, and I will spell that for you, M-A-R-I-S-S-A dot F-R-O-E-S-E. Thanks to Julian Smith for the podcast music and to Adam Graham for technical help and for generally being awesome. And of course, thanks to you for listening. You can connect with me on Instagram at Nova Scotia Kitchens or on the Facebook page. I'll be back with a new episode in August. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm